Susie Stitcher here with Dolly. It's like I, <laughs> um, she's literally just jumped up and uh, it's case, oh, she's doing one of those again. I'll, you know, I'll come and say hello. Um, so I hope you've all had a good week and that you're okay. And, uh, also, we have now got 435 subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. It really does make me happy. Um, so I hope you continue to enjoy the vlogs and see what I've been up to. <laughs> so um, I'm still hurting badly especially my back um i've been to the doctors now about it and um he sent me for an x-ray on my spine and on my neck because my neck has started to play up as well so that happened on friday and um, i also had to have my bloods done ready for the consultant <coughs> when i had my appointment so um that's all done um it's been going on for so long this with my back and i just want to know what's happening so yeah i'm glad that i had the x-ray so um it's so i just had the forecast come up and um it's i mean today it started out lovely and then it started to cloud over this afternoon and temperatures dropped a little bit and it, we have had a little bit of rain. Um, but they give it nice tomorrow. Apparently chillier in the evenings. Um, but the temperature's better for me. Much temperature. And you can see some of the, I mean, my plum tree, the colours are changing on the leaves. And there's a few fallen leaves on the ground. And uh, I love it. I just, I really, really love it. So... Um, let's get into crafting. So, oh, first of all, you know, I said about, um, Paula for Stitch My Mrs. D was, um, going to be selling the cat project bags, black cat project bags. Well, I went on there when she put them up and one was called Susie. So I had to get her. So let me show you her. What? <laughs> Dolly, what do you think, Dolly? Look at her. She is just so cute. There it is. Oh, it's got one of my grey hairs on it. Um, and that's the inside some liberty going on and there's a this is D but she um Paula started doing her own like logo postcards because she used to give you vintage ones I I keep them because they're just lovely um and I thought I really miss the vintage postcards and oh my lo and behold she put one in my bag it's just so lovely might not have been everyone's thing but oh, i just love things like it vintage and that and she did give me a lovely message a really lovely message um so yeah so i've, I've Got a, I'll probably put that up um, for October. So that's that. But yeah, I love it. Um, don't know what project's going to go in there yet. Obviously, it'll be something new when I start something. Um, I'd com I've just remembered. I've completed Flory's apron. Anyone that goes on my Instagram, Susie Stitcher 2, you will see her apron. But... I'll insert a picture here. I'll go like that. So I know where to put it. 
um, and I'm so happy with her autumn apron. It's turned out really well. Now I was going to start the start the haunted one, but I thought, you know what, it's just not worth it because I won't get it completed. So I've decided there is a winter one um, to start the winter one. So that'll be there ready for November because I'd already made the Christmas one. So let me show you. Uh, did I leave? All right, here we go. I might have to put the light. It looks nice and bright there, but it's a little bit dark for me. Let me just try a little bit. Oh, that's okay, isn't it? There. There we go. So, there's the winter one. And look, a grey rabbit. So I've um, sewn the sides and base of the apron and done the fold over ready to thread the ribbon through for the top. I've put on the white. All this time is, um, as far as I can see, oh, Patty's falling down. Are you all right, Patty? Um... Where's the fabric stays? There they are. Uh, yeah, there's a bit more wool this time than fabric, which is, I love stitching with the wool. I prefer it than the fabric, to be quite honest. So, on the picture, they've got the stitching black. But I've decided to do it white. Um, so I've put the trim on at the bottom. Put it back. And I've got the snow there. So yeah, we've made, I think that's a bit of Dolly's fur. And it black attracts, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I've made a start. And obviously this will get done for winter there. right and this oh so the Dickensian box or Dickens box so I'm making this one and I thought her name was Eliza, but I think it was Nell, because I thought the little girl was Nell, but let's have a look. I need to bookmark this. Oh, actually, yeah, it is, sorry, it is Eliza and the little girl is Nell. Um, so let me show you, just pull my trolley a bit more to me. So I've completed her, whatever this gets, I think I might have to wax them, there we go. So she's got a tail on, so she's all ready now for a close. And I have just done her pantaloons, whatever they're called, her French knickers, I don't know, but I think it would have been pantaloons in that era, wouldn't it? So there they are. And she's got a little gap there for a towel and there will be a drawstring. So yeah, I've just got to thread that. And I actually left that out so I can thread it and put it on her. Um, so then now it will be her dress. Um, the 
calico and stitch thread roll. This was um, picked from Pink Cushion and Pantails, and she's on Instagram. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, she did have kits on there. Um, go and take a look. There it is. It does say thread roll, but I think, how cute would that be with a little pin cushion in there? Um, some needles on that and some pins. Um, I just think that'd be so cute because I have got a little thread tray here. I say thread tray, I put my little scissors in there as well. Um, but yeah, but you know, it's up to you. Um, but it's just so cute. So I've put, there is a, I can't show you it because obviously it's paid for, but on there, there is a little design if you want to put a little doggy on there. So I decided to stitch a Wally. So there it is. There she is. She's got a lavender and there's Wally. On the pattern, the idea is coming down, but I just done little, it's daisy stitches. Um, for his ears and I did the colour I could closest to him but it's, they're just so lovely so now um I'm there's a little I'm working on a little house um I've cut out the templates but the fabrics in here um I don't want any of them to make a house so I'm gonna look in my stash because I've got loads of bits up there um and I'm sure I'm going to find something that I'd like for the house. So, yeah, that's the next bit. But it's just really soothing to, to do. Um, you're listening to something and just stitching. It's just so long. And I really recommend it. Really recommend it. So, yeah, go and take a look. Pincushion and Pantils. Well, Pincushion underscore Pantils. So there you go. And it's a plique. This is a plique. A plique. And so that's that. Let's go on to cross stitch so I actually left this one um, on my little table here last night so so praises to autumn yeah I think it's praises to autumn collection tra la la and I'm doing this one so I'm nearly finishing the pumpkin on here. Take the movie minder off the design. So there's the pumpkin. Let's take it out of the hoop so you can see the witch as well. This is going to be a big strawberry though. There we go. A gorgeous, gorgeous design. It really is. I might put it in a bigger hoop now actually. Yeah, actually, I'll leave it like that and uh, we'll do that. And this one. Oh, and the threads were on there. Classic colour works. My twist. There we go. Right. So 
so not forgotten farm tomato season so i've completed the lady done the crow working on tomato um not how far not too far to go now but i decided to go on to the vine a bit for a break so let me show you There we go. I'm not sure what I'm going to make this into, to be quite honest, when it's completed. I'm thinking of a cushion cover. I think that'd be so nice and have it at the back of the settee. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And the colour of the tomato, I changed to what was on the design. I wanted it more of a because it's if you look it looks a bit like a pump pumpkin-y colour um but yeah this is a dmc 817 that i'm using but yeah so yeah obviously like i just said dmc the all dmc threads And I need to, I'll have to check in my stash to see if I've got any more 817. Because if not, I'm going to have to order. This tomato takes up a lot. They're not going so well this time, my twist. There we go. This was off Etsy, um, I think the year before last I got that and uh, pumpkin on there, whoops, there we go. Um, let's get on to knitting. Now, you know I said about, well newbies won't know, but um, there's a vintage weekend, and we're talking 1940s, probably going to the 1950s. Um, it's a, over the weekend, and you can camp, you camp there, or you can go to the, for a day. But um, my ex does the security there. That's about, oh, 10, 11 years now, I would have thought. And my daughter, eldest daughter, Abby, works behind the bar. She's done it for 10 years. Um, but when I used to go there, obviously there's so many vintage stools and I love baskets. And um, I always used to come back with a basket or um, a sewing pattern, vintage sewing pattern. Yeah, a little variety of things. So... I asked my ex if he'd keep an eye out for a basket for me. I said the sort of thing I'd like. And anyway, he FaceTimed me and um, no, he sent a photo. He said, what do you think about this? And then he FaceTimed me and oh, it's just so cute. Look at it. I know someone's saying it's a basket, but it's immaculate. And he said it to, to him, it was like a red riding hood basket. And yeah, I, I think. But I love it. So I've got my little project bags in there. And it sits, I've got a wooden stool um, and a crochet cover over it. Where was the pattern from? 
I'm not sure if it was Attic 24. Anyway, um, so now I've got this table. It sits over there and now I've got my basket and I've had my Agatha Christie book sitting, it sits in there as well. Um, but yeah, I love it. So let me show you. So let's do the socks first. So my whoop, Mrs. D stitch project bag. Little brown door. Can't remember the name. So the shortcake socks. By Goose Creek Knits. Lovely pattern. Lovely, lovely pattern. Um, I'm using a four ply um, high twist, but I lost the label, so I don't know what where it is from. So sorry about that. Here it is. It's gorgeous really gorgeous and I've got to the part now where um, I'm just knitting down to the toe well before you start the toe so there's the heel and there's the Front. and then you do um, the pico at the end so yeah I really love it and I did try it on and it fits lovely really fits lovely um, yeah I've taken the risk because of the DPNs but there was plenty of room but yeah I'm really really happy with that so yeah cracking on with that I've got a little lavender bag in there. Oh yeah, you can still smell it. Really nice. So that's that one. This one. So this was uh, a knit along, and it's a gnome. Um, name it was natty yeah natty natty the gnome so i've i've done a lot to be quite honest um i've only got to do another arm and i think let's just check another arm there's one arm and it's um i called the arms so it's nice i haven't got to do any stuffing that's the bunnies so there he is that's his beard um i did it that color for his nose and i decided because I was using just that, what, the little mini set that I had, which was, um, it was Ammo Yarns, and it was called Halloween 23. Um, so, that was the colour set. So, I thought, oh, where's it gone? I've lost an arm. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Yeah, I thought for the fleshy colour, I'll just do the 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 hand. So that will go up like that a bit. Oh, that way. But yeah, and then he's done. 
lovely lovely little knit and as i say it's a free pattern so go and take a look um i think it's by i think i've said it before imagine landscapes Let's have a look Yeah, it's um, mystery. It's at Grimblewood Knit Along. So on Ravelry. I mean, I it just came through as an email um, for me. Let me just click on it. By Sarah Schichra. It's S H C H I R A. Um, I don't want to be rude by saying it <laughs> wrong. Um, but yes, yeah, available for free. So you got your minis upstairs, or wherever you keep them, um, and you want to use them up, then you can do that. But yeah. So he'll be out for October. You could do, you've got the Christmas colours, the Christmas one, or, you know, winter theme colours. You could do all sorts. But I, I don't know if I should, well, it says to stitch, stitch it on the first line of this colour. But I don't know if I should have brought it up a bit anyway. He looks all right. Yeah, and he's good size. So there you go. Do go and have a look. I'll keep his arm back in there. So whoop. I'll sew that on and do his other one. And the eye cord, it's so easy. You'll cast on five stitches. And then, so you knit along that row. And then because you're using DPNs. And then rather than turn it, you just push the stitches back up your needle and yeah the yarn will be at this end but you just carry on knitting along there and that's what makes it go like that so um yeah it's it's easy it really is easy so that's that oh. And the arm knit up so quickly, as you can imagine. Right, um, I forgot to bring down my woodland blanket again. Um, I'm on the squares now. Um, so you go up a certain amount and then you've got these squares that you make. Um, two, of the two are flowers. One is a toadstool and one is a fox. I've done the two flowers, there's sunflowers, done the two sunflowers, fine. The toadstool, oh my, I really struggled with it to begin with and really had to concentrate. Um, changing over the colours as well. Um, yeah, I think that wouldn't, not for a beginner, I think it would be a bit tricky. I think you do, obviously they do the YouTubes for you to watch. Um, but yeah, so I'm on the toadstool and it's a case of the last couple of nights I haven't done it. I actually brought it down here to start it off because I just couldn't work it out. Um, but it's a case of, oh, God, that's toadstool. That's how it feels. And obviously, I, I, think, I think it's only one toadstool because you've got the fox. Um, so I'm hoping the fox will be, you'll attach that to the square after you've done whatever you've got to do. So yeah, I don't, I'm not enjoying this bit at all. Um, but I'll put, I will persevere. I will persevere. So the other thing is my spinning. Now, 
Um, I've got two and a half spools um, done um, because each um, bobbin, you can't fill up a whole bobbin. Um, I, well, for me, I can't seem to fill up a whole bobbin, which is fine. But I think it will probably weigh like three ounces um, when it's wound. Well, it'll be way more than that because I'm plying them together. Um, but be six ounces. So yeah, I'll need because I'll need fifty grams to make a pair of socks. Um, but it's fine. There's no rush on this. I'm enjoying it, and that's the main thing. So let me show you. So this is done on the nano. So there you go. Really pleased with it. So I'm going to apply these two together. And I had one of these um, with Lacey Kate. And I thought, well, I'm going to need two because applying it together. So this come at the beginning of last week. And obviously my colours. And um, I thought, what am I going to obviously if they're just going to be as they are they're going to move around as i'm plying them so i had this little old breadboard and uh i thought that'd be ideal and obviously you've got screw holes there and I thought, well, that uh, there's no way I can do that anyway because of the way my hands in it are. So I thought, glue gun. So, yeah, I've just done it with a glue gun. And it's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, how about that? This DIY. So, yeah, um, as I said, I'm just on half of a... Um, bobbing right now or spool um so i'm going to fill that where i can and then i'm going to apply these together which obviously i've never done plying before um so i'm hoping it will come up nice so anyway i will let you know i will let you know so i'm hoping to actually do this this week so you should be able to see um what's happened um i might be able to do a little video on with the tripod so we'll see all right so that's that um oh yeah my joel gun let me show you let me just have a drink of my fruit tea it's starting to get dark it's 10 past six I do like these evenings, so when it starts getting darker earlier, I say, oh. <laughs> um, some people don't, but I do. It just, it's cosy. Um, and my, my clock ticking. It's just therapeutic. Really therapeutic. They're all asleep. When he's in his bed, snuggle. Oh, I had Winnie. Um, she came because I'm going to be having Winnie for a weekend. I think it's the beginning of October. And um, as I said, maybe we should start having her just to get her into the routine again of my home. So I said, well, when do you want to bring her? So anyway, she came Friday after the um, Abby picked her up. No, Abby dropped her off before we went to the hospital. Um, and she's been a dream, like she always is. Um, the night before last, because Wally likes laying down, um, 
near my leg and he just snuggles there because obviously I lay him on my side and I had Winnie up here snuggled <laughs> it was so cute um so yeah she went back um Abby and Simon did a car boot this morning um so they picked her up after uh yeah she is she is cute really cute uh, sorry i'm wombling on aren't i or rambling wombling i'm wombling free <laughs> i'll show you the joel girl so it's coming on nicely it really really is So this is by Andy Satterland. The yarn is paint box yarns. DK. And the number is 132 for the colour. So, I'm working on the tree. There we go. Hang on, long wait. Because knitting the knit side, stocky stitch side to me, is the right side. But on this, the pearl side is the right side. There you go. All I would say, if you're going to knit this, it says to have, so you knit that amount of stitches there and place a stitch marker because then you do so many stitches before you're doing the pattern. I've put a marker also before you start the pattern because you're bringing you're taking from this part as well and then um decreasing some and it can get, get well for me it can get confusing so by placing these i know where i am and it's working it is working um so last week i didn't explain myself properly about this so you pick up stitches along on from the back then you cast on stitches for the front part as well That's the bunnies and then you work down and then you'll work down to so far then you'll join it um, completely and then you're working around for the rib and obviously then it's the sleeves but yeah it's it is lovely lovely pattern and as i have made one before um but the wool it was a cheap cheaper yarn i mean the paint box I say it's not expensive but it's a better quality yarn than what i can't even remember what it was it was just a cheaper yarn um so yeah i'm glad i'm using a better a better yarn but that's going to be so pretty really pretty and same with the buttons on it so yeah i've actually ordered from candy skull crafts on etsy um some more of these wires because they're brilliant absolutely brilliant um so i ordered them what was the other thing i ordered that was so cute hold on let's have a look Do 
keep it a love base. Davina, your love base. Look, you might have already had some. <laughs> they cute. And I didn't buy buy this with the tin. I already bought when I bought the first lot of these holders I had a tin, but I didn't need a tin this time because they end up in my little bag. Um, but this time I've ordered purple. So you get three cords. Um, what does it say? You get one 150 centimetres and you get two 75 centimetres. Um, but they're just brilliant. And she's given me a 10% off as well. So on both items. So yeah, it worked out really, really well. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, those um, needle holders to come. I just say, I mean, at the moment, I say I've got a mug. Yes, have a look. Craft therapy, and it says, or oh, I hoard. It's about right, <laughs> both of it. So, yeah. that is it um at the end of this i'm going to show you my dresser for autumn and my fire side um one side here i've got my candles on this bit here oh yeah and obviously um you'll see flory there away from but i'm going to put the picture in there at the beginning for you so that is it so i hope you have a lovely week um hopefully all being well i will do another um vlog next weekend i'm hoping to do um vlogtober um if you would like that so yeah that's the plan um so yeah that's it so have a good week Hope you all keep well. Take care. Bye. So here we are. So it's not um, anything cool to me up here, but there's just some books that I like to keep up here. This um, Beth got me oh, a couple of years ago. It's got lovely cards, postcards in there really lovely now i've got another different set and they're all vintage i'll have to show you that another time but they really are pretty it's one of my chickens well i didn't make it but a sylvanian narrowboat this is actually made of coal my ex bought it for me when we were together yeah it's really really cute unusual that Mila made, oh, months ago. And uh, I've put it up there so I can see it every day. Mila got me this. Another hen. She's very old. So let's start autumn. So I crocheted this, oh, wow, a few years ago. This is a hen. This, um, I made her, and I've got a feeling it was last year. She was from, it was a design on Etsy, um, you printed off, but um, obviously you had to stain the fabric. I really enjoyed making her, really enjoyed making her. Um, I had a little crochet toast all that I made, so that goes there. Pumpkin, it's a fairy that I'd made. She's an autumn fairy. 
This was um, that came with Maisie, my doll, who you'll see in a minute. Um, this was a candle. Uh, obviously, I used that last year. Another toaster I made. My hands. These, oh, I got off eBay. And tin, really cute. I know it's nothing to do with autumn, but I just want to show you. It's a little sink. Whoop. Little hedgehog there peeping over. There's another pumpkin. More toadstools that I've made. It's over the years. Um, this. And I put her on this little doll that I made. Um, this is the name I'm talking about. I made year before last and it was at all. It was a um, December daily stitch, stitch along, knit it along. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. It's got a little hat going on there. Um, this pillow I made, well, I, didn't, I stitched the design last year and I made it into a pillow. So I love the back of that fabric. Look at that. Um, another toadstool. There's a candle. I've, I've never used it because obviously it's a chicken. Um, this pumpkin that I bought. I think I bought it from Etsy. Got some little ducks down there and a hen. Oh, she's being pushed over. Hold on. Let's put her there. There we go. Um, scarecrow. And I've had this, oh, years and years. Um, it was on my windowsill, but I thought, let's put it there. Look lovely with the display. It's my hen table mats. And down here, Abby bought me this one from when we were at Amsterdam. Um, this mat I made, this was Buttermilk Basin. Um, it's got something on there. This is a couple of years old now. Um, pumpkin that Beth got me. This is one of those, uh, you know, the vintage Christmas decorations, isn't it? That they used to have the bells and that. And there's a pumpkin. It's lost its colour a bit because I had it on my windowsill in the um, living room last year. And obviously the sun's got to it, but it's still okay. So yeah, there we go. Oh yes, and round here, my Hello Pumpkin sign. There we go, some fairy lights, just to set it off. So let me show you the other part. So there's Maisie, and I've put her pumpkin dress on. Um, <laughs> the toadstool lights come. These are from Timo. But what I didn't check, I thought they were battery operated, but they're not. They're USB. So I've ordered an, a spare USB plug. So I'm waiting for that to come. So then they can be plugged in. But yeah, um, these lights, I think they're a couple of years old now. Um, so yeah, they're up on the mantelpiece. And um I got this little truck from Timu. It's just so cute. Um, autumn pillow that I made. This was, I think, last year or year before. Can't remember now. There's my Cindy dolls. I prefer Cindy to Barbie. I always have, but there they are. Little lamby. This card that Sarah made me is up on here. There's the girlies. So that's that. Just show you this. This is what Sarah made me last year. And he's out all year. I just can't put him away. He's just so cute. But yeah, obviously he would, he's for October. But 
yeah, I couldn't resist. I always leave him out all year look around. So let's go over here. So I'm just watching the dog basket. So there's Flory, like you saw in the photo. But look, it's really turned out well. Really lovely. I'm pleased with it. Um, I've got some wax melts. It's autumn. Autumn spice. And I'm saving this for um, the 22nd. This doll, oh, I got a few weeks ago. Some of you say, oh, but I just love them. I really do. She does. Oh, I know. She's going to do it now. <laughs> she does, <laughs> when she wants to, go a little baby um, noise. Um, I think that's it about with my autumn. It's another candle. Oh, and this smells gorgeous. Um, and these wax melts are like cinnamon. They're really, really nice. And I'll show you this. So when they came back from the car boot, um, Evie was carrying this bear. Look, and they got it for me. He's huge. It was nearly as big as Evie. So I've called him Henry. Isn't he lovely? Really lovely. So yeah, he's going to sit there. So lovely of them. So yeah, that's... That's it. And the next things that will be, will be the Halloween things I've got. So there you go.